I think there was a lot of exaggeration going on there. I'm really not a celebrity or anything. But um, I'm, I'm really happy to be here in front of you today, not so much as a Googler, as um, a website owner. So um, I'm going to take you through a couple of tools, a couple of websites that I use a whole lot to help me generate content for my website, among other things. So um, today we're going to talk about, as soon as I figure out how to use the clicker, Okay, um, Google Insights for Search and Ad Planner. Have, has everyone heard about these two, or at least one of them? I see some nods, show of hands. Okay, good. So um, here's a quick snapshot of my food blog, which has been discussed a few too many times today. Um, so I started this about four years back, and um, initially it was all well and good to talk about recipes I like, you know, food food I enjoy eating, restaurant reviews, my favorite restaurants, and things like that. But once the number of readers went up, I started looking more and more at how can I engage my readers more? How can I give more value to my subscribers by talking about food and recipes and restaurants that they would enjoy as well? And this was not very easy to do, because I can use my intuition and guess that probably this is what people want to hear about. But it's always better to go about it in a more logical way and in a more tested way. So some of the objectives that I'm constantly thinking about are the following. Um, what's the current trend on recipe search? What sort of food and recipes are people looking for actively? Um, what are some of the popular food recipes being searched for? And what is currently trending? What are some of the other websites talking about similar things? It's always good to keep an eye on the competition, right? Although in this case, it's not so much competition. But it's more for me to find out who are like-minded people who talk about similar things. Um, another question on my mind is, is there a recipe or a food search that's trending? And how can I use this information to provide better content, like I mentioned before? And finally, but not the least important definitely, is how can I use this data for better advertising of my site? I do a little bit of advertising, not heavy. So my budget is not that big but I do do a little bit of advertising, and I'm constantly looking for data on how I can improve my campaigns as well. So the first tool I use is um, Insights for Search. Um, this, is, this is what you would see if you go in and um, click on google.com slash insights slash search. It's a free website or free tool that compares search volume trends across different regions, categories, timelines, etc. So what you can do here is key in some search terms which you want to analyze. So I decided to go in for cupcakes. How many of you like cupcakes? This is not true. None of you want to raise your hands. I was, I was thinking initially when someone else asked a question, and a lot of you raised your hands, I was thinking Singapore is not that great. You know, they, none of them really wanted to raise their hands and answer questions. And I was thinking Malaysia is so much better and much more responsive. But come on, how many of you like cupcakes? Still not happy, but OK. I'll, I'll let you be. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> OK, maybe not so many cupcake fans. OK, so I'm, I want to, I think cupcakes have gained a lot of popularity over the past um, few years. If you think about it, they were not this popular maybe five or six years back as they are now. So I wanted to analyze the trends for these keywords. And I'm going to do uh, this analysis for web search worldwide from 2004 to present present and across all the categories. I can drill down on categories, but I'm just going to let it be because it's pretty clear it's food in this case. And here's the first graph that I, I come across on Insights for Search. If you look at this, the blue line actually represents the keyword cupcake recipes. So my intuition was right in this case. The trend is definitely going up, right? Eggless cupcakes, not as important or not as trending as I thought. People still like their eggs in the cupcakes. Um, cupcake frosting, maybe not as popular as recipes, but definitely trending as well. So this is very, very useful information for me to have if I want to create more relevant content for my website. Some other piece of information that's equally important, what are some of the top countries that are looking for this, these terms? And here are the top 10. So like I mentioned before, I advertise a bit for my blog, for my website, but my budget is not that high. So it's very important for me to look at what are some of the key areas, what are some of the key regions I can target to instead of targeting to everybody, right? So maybe these are the people I should be focusing on if I'm going to be talking about cupcakes. 
Something else that's important, on the left-hand side, you can see some related keywords to the ones that I keyed in. This is particularly important, again, for advertising, because I can get some new keyword ideas from here. So these are keywords which are trending along with the ones that I've chosen. But maybe content-wise, the information on the right-hand side is more useful. If you remember the graph that we saw a couple of slides previous to this one, you remember that cupcake recipes was the one that was trending more. But if you look at what is probably trending in actual terms is frosting. So it's time I whipped up some frosting because I don't have a single recipe for frosting on my site. So this is telling me that I should probably get started on that. Okay. Um, a quick thing to remember when you're using this tool is if you key in more than one keyword, like I did, you would have to use the drop-down box and choose the right keyword. So far, we were looking at the data for cupcake recipes. You just need to look at the, uh, use the drop-down and choose the right keyword. Okay? So um, take a look, at, a look at our objectives again. What's the current trend? We got to know a bit more insight on, into that. What are some of the popular food recipes? We got a whole list of keywords that are trending currently. And definitely frosting is something that is trending and something I need to work on if I need to better the content on my site. We still have two more unanswered questions on the objective list, and that's where Double Click Ad Planner comes into the picture. How many of you have used Ad Planner as a media planning tool for your display networks? Only two people? Vinny, you don't count. Okay, so Ad Planner is used more as a media planning tool for display network, but um, I cheat a bit, and I don't really use it for display network or planning around that, but I use it to gain more insights into my website. So um, this is how the tool looks when you go in, the website looks. You can key in your domain. So I've keyed in my domain here, cookingandme.com. And here's one of the first things that catches my attention. 100% of the audience that visit my website are between the age of 25 to 34. Now, I can interpret this data in some interesting ways. I can maybe think that these are people who've just begun to cook, maybe. They're looking for easy recipes. Or maybe these are the younger folk who are working and they are um, eating out a lot, so they're interested in the restaurant reviews. So this is good information for me to have. It can, I can decide how I should keep the writing style of my website. So th this is very, very valid information for me, which I wouldn't find this easy to figure out elsewhere. This, is, this hardly took just one click. So I want to give you an example of one of my friends who used this information in a very interesting way. She has a blog on, here's a screenshot, she has a blog on yoga and um, healthy lifestyle. And she did the same test, um, and she realized that most of her audience was above the age of 50. So what she did was she went and increased the font size of her website from 12 pixels to 13 pixels. And she actually saw that there was a decrease in the bounce rate, maybe because people were finding it easier to read the content. Maybe they were engaging more with the content because of this. And this actually worked to her advantage. A simple five second change can actually impact your website in a big way. Some more information from Ad Planner. Um, if you look at the audience interest related to my website. Most of them are pretty obvious, all related to regions and food, but a couple of them are not really related to food, but music and movies. So um, this is interesting to know. Maybe I should do something around this, customize my content around this. And I also have a list of related websites. Now, if you look at uh, on the top right of that box, there's something called affinity. Affinity means it's a score or a value of how much my website is related to the websites listed here. So if you look at the top 10 here, these are the people who speak about food or who relate to food the way I do, and they write about the same or similar kind of things. So I should probably be engaging with them more, doing collaborations with them if possible, et cetera. Now something else that's very interesting here is paneer butter masala. How many of you know paneer butter masala? Some of you. It's actually a very, very popular Indian recipe, Indian dish. And um, I posted the recipe about two years back, and it's by far the most popular recipe on my site. And I always know this. I knew this from analytics data. Most number of pages always go to that, goes to that recipe. But this kind of tells me that people relate my website to this particular keyword a lot. So maybe it's time I did something further with this. Probably I can post a recipe video. Maybe I can have a contest and invite different people's versions of their 
paneer butter masala. So this is, this is probably a reminder for me that I need to take this content and take it a step further. Yeah? Okay, so we'll look again at our objectives. Um, I did find a list of websites that relate to my content, um, and th this was probably one of the easiest ways to find this as well. And how can I plan my advertising campaigns better? I got some new keyword ideas from Insights for Search. If I want to do a display campaign and I want to do placement targeting, I have a list of websites that talk about food as well. And this is going to help me plan my campaigns much, much better. Yep. Okay, so that's all for now. I hope you found this useful and you use these two tools for your website. Thank you.